Chub. <laughs> All right. In the back fish. of the heads. Oh, and look at this fish show down fails. here. Look we at this him. fish oh, show. Oh, oh, nice. Bermuda New species. Chub. We're down here with Captain Mark Holly. Woo! Woo! Johnson. And we have quite the fish show going on. It's been a tough bite so far today. Chunky we guy. tried a few different Woo. things. But yeah, we, we did catch, little, man, uh, how many look downs did we, we got, catch? Well, we know what, we probably oh, caught a good. dozen look downs on, Slam, on Shady. Slam Shady. He's fishing a different bridge up in town. There's your Bermuda Chub behind the Chum Block. And uh, yeah, the cool bite's been really slow today. We got some interesting weather front coming through. But we're fishing shrimp. We got the Chum Dinger and a block of Chum going. And uh, we're, uh, we're just eking out that bite. It's uh, Sometimes we laugh a lot when you see all the fishing that goes on in the world. And everybody's always all about the rip it and grip it and posing and social media and all the pictures in the world and it's awesome but sometimes sometimes it's not always just like that sometimes you're the bug sometimes you're the windshield and today <laughs> we're the bug <laughs> so far so good oh, it's, we're, when it's a struggle the oh, only way we're going to lose shrimp is when oh, they pick them over oh, oh boy Please. we're falling apart over here yeah, yeah it's go all going Don't down mind me while i get another chub we're falling yeah. apart oh, over here you. so <laughs> here's the plan we said all right we just want to do what most of us have to do which is deal with it right, right. you have tough days you're down here on bay k whatever it might be we got a chum block we got the chum dinger yeah hang on we'll drag it over here you can see it captain mark carlo we can pull that over and the Woo! chum dinger Fighting is the, side. the newest latest greatest technology look at this we got fish this close we might just try the net holy smokes up, oh, Justin's on. Look Woo! at this fish show. That's what I do. When the camera comes on, here come all the fish. It's amazing. Bermuda chunks well, We basically the wind. load that sucker up with a whatever seven pound block of seven block. Seven, seven pound, pound block, block of chum. chum. That's a nice one there. Bermuda and chum. get some shrimp. Um, Luke did catch one in the power prawn. Slam Shady works too on a little jig head, but if you just want guaranteed lines. Yeah. Tight line. It's hard is. to beat the shrimp, everybody. And you look in here right now, you see some yellowtails, lots of chubs. And you caught a yellowtail, right, Justin? We did. Earlier, we caught yeah. a couple small groupers. And uh, we're just trying to get this tide. It's fighting the wind. It's trying to get going. We caught but a mangrove snapper see. a little yep. before we filmed. So we've gotten a, quite a few different species. Nothing huge. The look downs were probably the biggest. And the most exciting. <laughs> That's a cool fish, yeah. moon fish, look down. And to catch them on artificial is kind of cool. And there could be beer in the boat, you know, making the best out of it on a Monday, because yep. that's what we do. So we're just here at a bridge, number five. Channel five. And we got this boat coming to yeah, say, hell. Run us right over, because they're not close smart enough to go through the big channel oh my that's God. over there. Oh, don't do that. Hey, whatever you do, don't use the channel. Hey, guys. Hey, I don't know. Jeez. Hey, don't you know, I was in a Northern Michigan hey. eight. <laughs> nice. Don't be that person. Don't be that guy. <laughs> uh, it's just <laughs> kill him with kindness, folks. Never be mean on the water. <laughs> Ask yourself why. Oh my goodness. All right. Never a dull moment down never. here in the Keys. Never, never, never. We had that kind of madness happening. Even uh, when we're down here lobstering, we came down the first week of lobster season, lobstering around some of these it's same bridges, and people cruise through. It's a, it's a busy time of year, lobster season, oh, right? Yeah. And we're getting ready to see here between Christmas and New Year's what we call Hell Week. And uh, yeah, it'll be, the traffic will be backed up all the way to the Miami airport. It'll be busy as can be down here. Weather is irregardless because when you come from northern Michigan, no matter how bad it is here, it sure beats being in North Michigan, right? Oh, amen. So it'll be, it'll be busy. All right, let's, so let's uh -oh, uh -oh, oh, Luke's on. Uh -oh, Ooh, that, uh -oh, oh, there's that's, a bite on oh, the oh, oh, we got color. Yellow tail. We got color. Look at that. Oh, oh look at fumble. that. Hit him in the, hit him in the leg. Yellow tail snapper. Justin, you want to? One of the most nice. awesome eating fish we have in the Keys. Yes, sir. Tomorrow he might be big enough for a sandwich, but not today. All right, so Luke, what size jig head you got on? I have a six quarter ounce. He's so... We're literally using the same jig heads we had on for Slam Shady on the flats. Yep, and we're using the same one tomorrow when we go up in the Everglades and see what we can catch there, which to the point is how simple the fishing we're doing. There's the Luke-inspired FG knot. He started that on, I don't know, last Monday. Well, look, got this, it guy, done this, in guy time found, this week. This guy found the channel. <laughs> yeah. Then you got just a plain jig head, a little loop knot, same old shrimp, 
jig head on a shrimp. Who knew? So popular. All right. And off you go. There you go. Let's do Put, it again. Wrap it around the top of your rod there. All right, so it is, uh, it's been blowing here today too, and that's another reason we wanted to do this. This is a great way. You don't have to go too far from home. You don't need that. You don't need any new stuff. No, I mean, again, we've done, you know, talked about this before, but sometimes you get down here and you got to fish and the conditions are just against you, or you got little kids or the family, and you got to get out. You're the dad, you're the guy in the group. Uh oh, fish Loops on. on again. And you're Loops trying on to again. just make it fun and entertaining, and we can sit out here and drink beer and catch fish on a Monday. And uh oh, pork fish. Pork fish. Dang, just make look a day at the color on that guy. See, so this is called a pork fish, not a fish you would target nor one you would eat. They are known as an ornamental species. You would find him in a saltwater fish tank, and they're just really cool looking. Here, put them up in the in the sun too. Once you get them unhooked. Ta da! Yeah, that's called a, a cool... pork fish. Just another cool creature that loves to eat a shrimp. And they do not taste like pork. No, that, <laughs> they do not taste like pork. It's pretty so, cool. Yeah, so again, the shrimp on the hook catches just about everything that swims. And, and let's uh, talk about the shrimp. You don't even have live shrimp. You've got... No, this is a new phenomenon that we come across here a couple years ago at the Tackle Center in Ala Mirada. Uh, live shrimp's a struggle. A lot of days you can't get it. It's very, it becomes very expensive. And when you need a lot of shrimp and your tackle shop orders 5,000 5, 5, and the shrimp guys bring you 500, it does nobody any good. So out of nowhere, this guy shows up from Fellsmere Sebastian. They farm raise restaurant quality shrimp that we use for bait. Here, put it in the sun. Let me see that guy. Farm raised, oh, restaurant yeah. quality, 26, 30 count. And uh, it has become a game changer in what we do because now I can buy an endless supply of it. It works fantastic. We've caught the bonefish on it, the mutton snappers, the groupers, the baby tarpons, all the things. Hey, turtle. Big giant turtle, Hello. can you catch that oh, in the yeah. wind? Uh, oh. I just went under. Just went under. And anyway, he just came back up. Just went under. Anyway, it has been a game changer for us because we can manage our bait now. Whoa. When you need live shrimp and you can't get live shrimp and your whole trip depends on having shrimp, not having shrimp is a problem. And it's, uh, the struggle is real. So this has, been, uh, this has been the greatest change in what we do for the bait we use. So it's called Blue Magic. Little magic. All right. Come in a half pound bag. Restaurant quality, right size, 2630. But they are bait shrimp and it's perfect. Who can name uh, that sitcom, that show the, uh, with Little Magic? Do you remember, Justin? Little Magic. Little Magic. Little Magic. Little I Magic. Might, I might predate that a little bit. <laughs> little Magic. I'll give you a hint. It had uh, Jim Carrey on there, one of Jim Carrey's first shows he was on. In living color, we've oh, got wasn't it. He little, fire little Marshal Magic. Bill. Yeah, Fire Marshal Bill. In little Magic. Let me tell you something. It's Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> hey, uh, let's when talk. you're allowed to be funny on TV. <laughs> let's yeah. talk about boat positioning uh, with the tide, with this crazy wind. Uh, we don't have a traditional anchor. We've just got the old Minn Kota. The old Minn Kota. Yeah, so right work. now we got about 20 knots of wind blowing out of the northeast. We have the incoming tide, which is about two hours behind schedule, and it is now fighting to go into the wind, which is why it's a little bumpy out here. But uh, wind, tide, you like them to work together. Sometimes they work against each other, and the boat position is- Luke's on, nice one, Lukey. Basically perpendicular to the whole bridge and all the work, or the, the wind rather, and we're just sitting in here sideways Ooh, that's a bigger yellow tail. Nice, dude. Just uh, just trying to get as much done as we can, folks. This is what sometimes you just got to really eke out the grind to catch a fish. Good job, Lukey. There you go, yellow tail. What a great eating fish, yellow tail. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And so pretty. Beautiful. All right, so I'll walk so up again, here to the front chums, so you guys shrimp. can see. A couple cold beers out here relaxing, doing the thing. Just right here in the dead middle. Live as it gets. Minn Kota. Got us on that spot, lock. Absolutely. And we're just having a blast. Whoa, that's a better bite Whoa. there. Luke's on again. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Luke has got the bait. hot hand. So Super finally now hand. the current's picking up from when we first started, and they're yelling to, oh, that could be a keeper. There's a fish sandwich. Ta-da! Nice, Proof dude. they exist, folks. That is a keeper-sized yellowtail nice, caught dude. in a bridge on a frozen shrimp. All right, Luke. 
Uh, hold, hold them up. Let's get a let's get a pick. This could be a thumbnail pick here. Ta da! So you I'll guys get go. to see You're this in, in so live action. That is a action. keeper size yellowtail at the bridge on a frozen shrimp. So you'll get to see how we take our thumbnail picks. Assuming this ends up being a thumbnail pick. You put that out there. Careful with your rod yes. tip. Yes. <laughs> oh man, the beautiful color on that thing. Dude. Dang. That's awesome. Cool. Nice. I like you, it. You good? You got it? Keep her, let him go. Let him go. We're going to let him go. We're all catching I got dinner planned today. for you guys, and tonight it does not involve fish. So back to you're fishing the bridges, and you never know what you're going to catch down here. And we just showed that you can catch legal size fish to harvest for dinner. Uh, snappers, groupers, mackerels, you just never know what you might come up with down here. Now, remember your seasons, that's always important. And as January 1 gets here, it's going to take the groupers out of play, but you can catch snappers year round. And so the snappers you would catch here that would keep her size, obviously we just call it a yellowtail, would be a lane snapper, a mangrove snapper, a mutton snapper, an occasional kubera snapper, but those are your types of snappers that you can catch any of the bridges up and down the keys. Luke's Whoa, on again. Oh, oh, oh. Dude. Uh -oh. Dang. Uh oh, he's got a pull here. Whoa. Dude, what is this? I'm watching now. What it's is on. this? I don't know. Get it. Oh, this has got baby. a little more pull to it. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, we not finally a got the foul hooked, got color. Uh, That's a grouper. We're going to have a nice grouper coming up. And look at dude, the fish behind Dude, nice. Woo. Look at all the fish behind so we it. We just mentioned grouper, and here is a genuine black grouper. He's the largest of the grouper family, except for the Goliath. He nice. is not quite a keeper size, as I believe they got to be 26 or 28 here this far south. But look at how pretty that fish is. That's awesome. Nice. In the sun. Here we get a. All right. Luke, get in Luke, there. Luke, get in there. Yeah, so that is an absolute treat. All That's right. awesome. And, uh, once again, how hard was that? Jig and shrimp. No live bait, no throw in the just net. Just a normal one Just a quarter normal ounce. jig. That's Perfect. awesome. All right, we'll let you go. That's the Z-Man Ice Strike jig head there. All right, so here we went back to back. We've got two quality fish doing our thing. Block a chum, shrimp on a jig head, making the day go. Justin, you going to meditate up front? Oh, yeah. Now it's, <laughs> now it's getting real. Now it's getting real. Uh, oh, boy. The grouper showed up. Uh, chilling back a little bit. Saying, all right, my time will come. Uh, it better. I'm, I'm ready. I got a big front on bottom now. I'm going for a bigger front. I love it. Let's see. Love Justin, it. So you, you, can't got a, wait. you got a power prawn on now? Yeah. Okay. Justin's trying to see if he can keep up with the shrimp with the power prawn. The power prawn is very effective, but when, when the chips are down, hard to beat the live shrimp. Dead shrimp, yep. frozen shrimp. The shrimp's a ticket. Everybody eats it. Yep. Man, just look at all the fish down there, too. Check that chum block there while he's got the camera there. Look if you can reach it. Chum block. You guys can watch this. Hopefully, if you're listening, come back and watch. Yeah. I mean, oh. look at that fish show down there. And the chum dinger, what a box. That one's three years old. It's indestructible. And uh, when it first came out, it was a little awkward on the market because for years, everybody's had a mesh chum bag. But we go through them by the dozens and there's cost involved when you're losing that much gear. They also tear. They also, you have to hang them off the boat to clean them. This thing cleans itself yeah. because of the material. Oh, Whoa, Luke, fish. what are you doing? <laughs> that Dang. looks like a horn belly, we call it. No survivors. No survivors. <laughs> so here, we're talking about this fish. That's so this is what we call yeah. here in South Florida. Don't grab them. A leatherback jack, a skip jack, and you learn really quick that you never, ever want to grab this fish. He's got spines. He hurts you. You will say words your mom would not like. However, <laughs> you go to Louisiana, and they fish for yellowfin tuna, and this is their favorite live bait up there, and they call it a hornbelly. And the first time I was exposed to that, I thought they were crazy. But they're like, nope, this is the most favorite bait for live bait fishing for yellowfin tuna in Louisiana, mm. and they call it a hornbelly. Who knew you were good for something, fish? There we go. Nice. Whoop. All right. Man, all of a sudden you turn the camera on and we can make them bite. Son of a gun. Well, you know what? It was as soon as that water really started moving, right? We yes. got here at slack tide, kind of checking out the area, looking at the white caps out yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, no shortage of that. It is a but, windy yeah, day. Yes, the tide's coming into the wind now pretty good. The chum's been going now for half an hour. We got plenty of activity. And uh, let's see what else we can catch. So if you went by a species count, 
today alone with some slow fishing, we're probably right around 12 species already. From jackervels to a wrasse, the pork fish, a grouper, yellowtail, mangrove snapper, and not only the black grouper, we caught the what? The red hind, yeah, red hind, hind, red hind grouper, the look down we caught, the, what they know is a moonfish. So that's, and the Bermuda chub. And so that's a, whoop, you had a bite there? There's or, another boat. Oh. Uh oh, get ready. <laughs> yeah, a little boat way coming for our friends that like to drive around when you're fishing. But, uh, so, making the best, making the day out of it. Yes, sir. You just got back from Cuba, right? I did. Yeah, that was it. I spent a week fishing in the Avalon Group down in the very southeast bottom side of Cuba, and we did six days of skiff fishing, fly fishing for bonefish, tarpons, permits, mutton snappers, jackerbells, and uh, what an amazing experience. Uh, Kubera the fishing was fantastic. Too, I'm sorry? Kuberas as well? Yeah, a couple Kuberas, a couple mutton snappers. Uh, it was it was just a really an amazing experience. You got to see the country, understand the economic issues down there. We got to see the territory of places that have never seen people. We were fishing in a national park with, with permission, and uh, the coral we saw, the reefs, the fishery, no prop scars, no people. It was really, really beautiful. I highly recommend if you get the chance to fish down there. The group was called Avalon. They did a fantastic job on the mothership, and uh, we had a group of 11. And it uh, was how big's the boat, the mothership? Uh, I think it was 115, 120 feet. Nice. And uh, it worked out really well. It was definitely a treat to go. And uh, how just was the, got how back. was the food? The food was fantastic. The yeah. mothership has a chef. And you eat some Cuban cuisine. We ate a couple of the different fish we caught, a lot of lobster, uh, a lot of beans and rice, a lot of fresh fruit, guava, uh, pine, pineapple guava, papaya, and that was uh, that was different. Some of that fruit, and uh, no complaints whatsoever. Oh, well, there's um, right, if Luke's we had to find tip, a complaint, oh. American Airlines makes life really hard when they're canceling trips all the time. And we ended up having the group charter a small Cessna at a marathon, which in turn was a little more expensive for the flight, but it made the ease of the trip so worth it that that'd be the only way we would do it now. Yep. And uh, it was just such a treat. That was my Christmas present to go. A group of 11, uh, half of them are friends and clients. The other half were friends of the friends and we got to meet them all. And we just had the best time. Do you guys have to have a pallet of beer shipped in? I mean. Uh, no, we uh, we had to suffer through, if there is such a thing, Cuban beer. But we made it work because no beer goes on drink when you're out in the boat. Oh, speaking of beer, there's a little right, there's bluegill a, down whoa, there. Whoa, we got a little whoa, latte. Hey, oh, hey, Luke, limit, that's your beer, Luke. Hi limited there. edition. Luke, what are you be? doing? Golly, a little latte out here on that's, a Monday. I don't think you finished your beer there. Beer and go fishing on a Monday? I don't think Luke finished the beer. Yeah, that's I, the problem. Oh, oh, yeah, there is a little truth to that, Luke. Shake that thing. Is yeah, there still yeah, some in yeah, there? Come on, Luke. It's getting oh, let that beer get warm. Goodness. So the trip was fantastic, and uh, looking forward to doing it again. Oh, uh -oh there we go. Uh oh, they're biting now. See Luke's little rod tip hey, there. Are you in time out up there? What are uh, we doing? Oh, Justin. Oh. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, the yellow tail. The yellow tail, like. man. So much fun. And Justin was all talk when this all started, and uh -huh. Luke's got tired of it. Started uh -oh. catching a bunch, and now Justin's in time out. Oh boy. <laughs> the way down here, Justin's like, is Captain Hollywood going to harass me? Who would do such a thing? I've had Big Arm Tony, I've had White Claw Violet, and now I got F and G Wyatt. Justin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we're talking about the insider party coming up. We're yep. going to see all the other players on the team. I'm going to meet the famous Peter Diggs. I have never met him. I have talked to him on the phone. What a tremendously nice guy. Really bright, really humble, was a treat to talk to, and uh, gonna get a chance to see him and uh, some other folks on the Salt Strong team, and that's just uh, looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, we got uh, 500-ish ish plus people have RSVP'd already uh, for this insider party, so if you're not an insider member, uh, you still got time. It's worth the price of admission, folks. Still 100 bucks time. a year, you too can be a member of the Salt Strong Insider Club and come join the party. Come learn about what all we do. Figure out how to get away and drink beer on a Monday and go fishing, because yep. I will tell you it is good for the soul. And we have guides like Hollywood who are saving money with our same discounts. Absolutely right. Slam the tackle shady, shop, baby. shopping, the knowledge. You, you were skeptical. Remember the first time we came out here, 
we were, we were doing a Spanish mackerel how-to, and you're like, nope, just use a shrimp with jig. We're like, we're going to put on some Slam Shady, and it kept up with shrimp. It did. And you're like, all right, this is nuts. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I love to fish an artificial in the right scenario, and Spanish mackerel fishing usually isn't the right scenario, but the quality of the Slam Shady with being the Z-Man and the fact that you really can't destroy it, I think we caught as many as a dozen Spanish mackerels on one rubber worm. Yep. So if you put that into monies and in perspective, jigs, shrimp, flies, worms, one worm catch a dozen toothy fish, that's amazing. So you take the same Slam Shady and we took it trout fishing and we fished four morning half days of trout fishing and only used one worm. And that I just made it. me a lifetime believer in the Slam Shady. I believe it. So just fantastic what it does. However, at the same time, there are times when it is not the best scenario to use it. And today is one of them. And therefore you're back to tried and true shrimp on the jig head. Yep. Yeah, it's tough to beat shrimp around a bridge like this and a chum block. And we did catch a fish or two on the Shady today. Oh yeah. But if you want to go bites for bites, or if you got a bunch of kids in the boat or people with that need to get the bites on the cast, it's it's hard to beat the shrimp. Yep. And as you've seen here, you don't have to have live shrimp and have an awesome live well frozen shrimp. So our frozen shrimp has look always at, had about, a stigma look at Luke's rod because tip. for years frozen shrimp was what was left over and dead and it was already rotten and it was orange and it was messy. But the fact that this is farm raised, it's it's a game changer. Well, here comes our friends again. <laughs> hey! Uh oh! Whoa! Uh -oh. Whoa! Uh -oh. Perch jerky Luke's... behind the chum box. Chum dinger for the win. Dang! Cane pulling them over here. Cane all right, man. We got wakes coming. Yeah, we got that's all right. The Marauder with the wind. Four will handle all that. You guys just smile a lot. Ooh, baby. It's about the, only the third boat we've seen today. Can't imagine yeah, that's why. been a slow day. But, uh, and tomorrow we're going to uh, we're hit gonna up. We're going to go over to the Everglades yeah. towards Flamingo and the Cape Sable area. And we're going to pound uh, some rubber worms and some shrimps to see if we can get on some snooks and some reds and see some crocodiles. Uh, it's supposed to blow even more tomorrow. So we're going we're gonna to hightail it over there and spend the day up in the creeks as protected as we can. Ooh, listen to that wind. And uh, I guess why we're talking about it here, is it might even be the headline title of the next video, is uh, kind of the truth about catching redfish in the Keys. I think a lot of people come down here and think this is the place to catch an inshore slam, redfish, snook, and trout. And it ain't necessarily the case. I'm talking about Isla Mirada, like right well, around Isla here. Isla Mirada, no, but the Everglades is right behind Isla Mirada. So it's the closest proximity, if you will, to the National Park to go try to make that happen unless yep. you trailer into Flamingo, which is a whole different animal. Correct. But uh, yeah, the National Park is as far, guys, you can see from here with those islands. And it goes from there another 30 miles all the way to Flamingo. Yep. All of a sudden, what are you out of time out? I got two guys fishing on the same hatch. Oh, I have a 24 foot bay boat. Getting real close there. Inside. I got all the room to Queen Mary. <laughs> and you got one sitting on the other one's lap. <laughs> really? <laughs> Justin go. requested a, a, key, a queen bed for the two of them tonight. <laughs> I get cold. Maybe, I mean, I maybe we could uh, merge those two singles together. <laughs> well, I was going to show you guys uh, something again, but my view all suddenly went wild. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 he's on. Oh. No, no, lost, lost the shrimp. Well, guys, we'll uh, we'll probably end it here. We'll do a little uh, little close as Hollywood. Rebates, but stay tuned for more. We'll uh, be here in the next okay. couple of days, and uh, hopefully you guys like these, where we go completely live, unscripted, uncut. Unlike all the other fishing TV shows, it's gonna take three days just to film a 21-minute episode. We do it in 25, 30 minutes. And that's the honest truth. We yeah. don't do any double takes, triple takes. This is all it. In it to win it. Catch them, don't catch them, fall in, spill your beer, whatever it takes. This is live on the water. This is what we do. And uh, we love it every day. Even in bad condition days like today. Yeah, you know what? When you're fishing, it's never that bad. Amen. All right, Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson here with the boys from Salt Strong. Getting it done. All right, guys. Justin, Luke, the gang. And uh, thanks for watching all that we do, everybody.
And remember, you can always find us at Florida Keys Fun Fishing or SaltStrong.com. Yep, and if you haven't joined the club, join us in the club. Hope to meet you guys here at this party. We have more to come. The new community is top notch. We got all the beta testers starting to go through there right now. And uh, man, I'm, I'm pumped for you guys to see what we have. Speaking of the party, we're going to have here. our boats up there. So if oh, you guys yeah? want to come see the 24 Yellowfin, which is what Peter Deeks rides, yep. and the 24 Murata, which is what Hollywood rides, and the, the Saul Strong Boys Pathfinder will be there. Yep. And uh, we'll all be on display. So you get to come shake some hands, laugh and joke. Oh, Luke's on. Drink Luke. your beer, but it's possible. And, Luke. Uh, get to meet the guys and make all this happen. Luke always does it. Yeah, Luke always right does when we're it. ending. It's got to bring it. Let's see what it is, and we'll close her up. That's a nice one. Nice looking yellowtail. Good job, Luke. That nice pelican's job, coming Luke. in. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, All right, we be out. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.